individual, as an ordinary human being, I am nothing, I was nothing, and I will always remain nothing. But as an instrument of the divine, of the supreme, if I can please him in his own way, then I am everything, not only to humanity, but to my supreme pilot. So him to please in his own way is my constant aspiration. Supreme, 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 I bow to Thee, I bow to Thee, I bow to Thee. The fountain of creation is the Supreme Himself. As a spiritual master in touch with this infinite source, Sri Chinmoy brings to our world, through his paintings, visions of the beyond. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. I see so many worlds, so many worlds mingling together. I like it so much. It's beautiful, Come nearer than see. Through his art, Sri Chinmoy invites humanity on a journey of spiritual discovery. We just don't know if there is a world's record for the number of paintings done in the shortest possible time, but on tonight's edition of Bert Haney's People, he may just have found that man, a guru, living in Queens. 10,000 paintings in 100 days. That's 100 paintings a day. How could you do it? I have not done it. The Supreme in me, who is my inner pilot, has done it in and through me, and I just became a dedicated, devoted, unconditional instrument of his. Why did you do it? Did someone make a bet with you or what? Not, not. The Supreme in me wants me to be of service to the aspiring mankind. As a boy in India, Sri Chinmoy developed his interest in painting. Years later, he showed his disciples some of his early work. We were delighted with this newly discovered talent. Shortly after, he surprised us with a book of abstract sketches called Friendship Life with the Unknown. While on a lecture tour in Canada, Guru spent a rainy day doing paintings. He signed them with the initials of his full name, Chinmoy Kumar Ghosh, and so began what we were to know as the fountain art of CKG, Jarna Kala. There are quite a few ways to feed my spiritual children through prayer and meditation and through my writings. Now I've entered into a new field. My art is an expression of my aspiration, which is the food of my spiritual children. We were inspired and amazed to see Guru's first 1,000 paintings. 
but we had no idea that this was only a beginning. When we heard that Guru had decided to complete 10,000 paintings before the end of the coming year, we knew that what some of us had viewed as a fascinating sidelight had now become a major adventure. I have to tell you one thing. For an ordinary person, inspiration is something that at times that inspiration bird comes and stands in front of him. At times the bird flies away in spite of his repeated request to stay in front of him. But in the case of a spiritual person, it is a different matter. He creates inspiration. He creates time of his own. If he has to surrender to time or surrender to inspiration, then he will never be able to accomplish the things that the divine within him wants to accomplish in and through him. I do not think of color as such. Intuitively, I select a particular color and I do not know whether that color is green or blue or red or yellow. No, just my eyes take me to a particular color, but my mind does not act. Since my mind does not act, I do not know what color I am selecting. And I have no preconceived idea as to what I am going to paint. I just allow myself to be carried away by a higher force. It seems that I will be recognized as an artist before I am recognized as a poet. God alone knows. For 30 years I have been writing poems and now I have started my paintings only the other day not even three and a half months. Again, as in poetry, so in art, I offer the fruits to the Supreme devotedly. Guru immersed himself in his work, spending endless hours seated in his chair, finishing painting after painting still maintaining his busy schedule of lectures and meditations he painted while traveling to his centers and to his meetings at the united nations on february 26 after months of intensely concentrated work guru resolved to finish what we had thought might take all year in the next 21 hours he created 1000 paintings the goal of 10,000 had been reached. Supreme, I bow to thee. Supreme, I bow to thee. Supreme, I bow to thee.
On March 31st, the Jarnakala Gallery was opened. Among the first viewers were artist Paul Jenkins and collector Robert Skull. Well, it's an incredible, it's an incredible output, and I think that that amount of paintings done in two months must be coming from a deep uh, autobiographical well of images and feelings. The abundance. Yes, there are many watercolors, but what's here is an abundance of color, abundance of images, abundance of things that come through your mind when you meditate. And I don't look at them with a tough eye, say like uh, an artist, art critic. I, I look at them for what they are, for his joy. And, and, it, and it stabilizes once and for all for me the, the heart chakra. In the traditional religious artistic expressions, for many ages, whether they're Hindu or Christian or other. The styles are very tight, very ceremonial, very crystallized. And here's an expression uh, which is modern religiosity, totally free, more than contemporary. I think it's very refreshing. It's uh, hard labor as well as an act of love. Remarkable. Everything is in seed form in the inner world first, and then only can it become manifested in the outer world. When I paint, I devotedly follow a streak of light. It is quite visible to me. This streak of light comes from my inmost soul or my inner self.
द सुप्रीम गोल ऑफ आर्ट इज सेल्फ डिस्कवरी और गॉड रियलाइजेशन इन लाइफ परफेक्शन लाइफ परफेक्शन इज अनकंडीशनल एंड कॉन्स्टेंट सरेंडर टू गॉड्स विल द विल ऑफ द सुप्रीम The Jarnakala Gallery wasn't the only place the public could see Guru's paintings. There were other exhibitions in museums, department stores, and even a bank in midtown Manhattan, where a passerby could pause from the bustle of city life to reflect on another world. April 13th marked the 11th anniversary of Guru's arrival in the West. For each year, he created a unique painting and he dedicated them in gratitude to the soul of America.